what's going on everybody I hope you're having an amazing day welcome back guys to another Disney Steve presentation today we're going to be reviewing the Rusty's Lionel McQueen who is Lionel McQueen but in his Rusty's paint job who appeared in Cars 3 during the first and until Los Angeles Speedway when, he, when there was a crash occurred so today we're going to be reviewing him so he is the 2017 release, the China version, I don't have the Thailand version, which was released in 2020 and 2021 as well. So before, uh, before I tell you about that, I just wanted to tell you that before we do the review, this is the timeline for all of my videos. First I want to talk uh, taking a look about the appearance and then with the releases and I can't show the pictures, I'll see, I'll search later. And then with the review and then the comparison and conclusion of the video. So this is the new plans. And another thing I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to be really uploading a video once in 10 days. Because I have, um, I have some work to do and some couple of test matches to play and whatnot. And yeah. And so let's talk about his appearance. So he lately appeared in Cars 3 at the Motor Speedway of the South from the beginning of the movie. And then he appeared for the rest of the movie till the Copper Canyon Speedway where he met with Jackson Storm. And another was with, um, and he even um, at the Los Angeles Speedway he appeared where he had a very big crash which was appeared. And yeah, there, those were his appearance and then he was uh, from the radio, from the Radiator Springs to the last race, the final race of the season, 2017, he was in the Cars 3 version. And yeah, so that was his appearance in Cars 3 movie for this release. And there were like more Lionel Queens which I have to be released if I'm not, I think, no, 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 yeah. Yeah, the mini with this, the Rusty's Lionel Queen as a mini ratio should be revealed soon. And before I want to tell you, even I want to compare to this NASCAR racer, which I reviewed him, you can check out that video, I'll link the review in the description below. And the car suggestion at the top right hand corner. Just a minute, guys. Yeah, just a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna be comparing this one. I, there are like two haul videos. One was with my 12 days of Christmas where I debuted um, the driving cars. I got the uh, yeah, and then uh, the um, what do you say like I like, forgot. Yeah, the Hot Wheels haul where I debuted him. You can go check out that. I'll link the review in the description below and the car suggestion. And you can check out all of my reviews of this at some Murray. You can check out all of these. All the, the playlist will be in the description below and the car suggestion at the top right hand corner. So without more longer, let's talk about his releases now. So it was released in 2017 and then in 2020 and 2021 which was revealed. 2021 cars are revealed because this is 2021. Obviously 2021 cars will be revealed. So there are like a couple of releases of him and he's starting big one with because like 3 years. Like I think so you might pick one. So now let's start with the review of him. So taking a closer look at the hood you can see his Rusty's logo which is very nice I like it. You can see like um, R like uh, some of it is in yellow and then orange and then red which is in depth. I like the design a lot. Like, uh, like it was used uh, even on uh, like on a um, nitro racer whose name is Phil Tankson where it is uh, less orange to more orange. So that's kind of cool. So I like the design on the hood which is all the letters are like that. Yeah all the letters are like that. And then you can see the lightning bolt design which uh, he uh, like in cars one he had the I bought mag over here for the design. In cars one he had the full design like this. In cars one he had the full design like this. And even in Cars 3, I had a bigger version of that design, which um, I don't have the Cars 3. I think I have it with me, which is not made by Machal, which is just a custom to make car. I think I have it out here. Just a minute, guys. I think, yeah, there we go. I found it. I found the uh, Cars 3. It's like the same one, which is just a sticker. Like, this is just a custom. Like, I don't want to review it. And you can see that it over here. It's like a sticker you can peel it out easily like you can see it's getting peeled over here this was the like if i talk to him this logo was never there in any of the cars movie he had this logo which i'm uh, he had this one and cars at the beginning he had this one and then to the end of the movie he had this one this is a uh, there with rubber tires as well 
Yeah, so this is not my matcha. Made my matcha. I'll tell you that for sure. And yeah, we'll continue with the review. The lightning bolt design and whatnot. At the front, you can see he has his two headlights. His nice, I mean, his grill. He doesn't have a grill. And then you can see his two headlights right there. His good smile on his face. I like that. He's always smiley. He doesn't have the number on the side like Bruce Miller. Just a minute. I'll just log the food. Yeah, there we go. And uh, Parker Brixton even has that as well. And then even uh, Arnie Gerson has that. And then even Murray, uh, Murray Clutch one even has that as well over there. And even Phil Tankson is missing. That's an error. Oh, just a minute, guys. My camera was falling. There's an error with Phil Tankson. He should have the number below his headlight, but it is an error. I saw a, a video of Super Barry 4 where uh, he told about the error as well. Just a minute. Yeah, there you go. And at the side, you can see he has red rims. Just a minute. He has red rims with the black lighted tires. You can see the lighted text, which is um, which is bigger version or the smaller version as the next gen. You can't even read it barely. You need to take like a magnifying glass or zoom the camera in too much to see that. Oh, just a minute. And yeah, you, oh, just a minute. I just need to focus it over here. There you go. And you can see he has an orange trim. Just a minute, guys. Oh. He has an orange trim around the limbs. And almost near the tire. And you can see his sponsors right here. I'll read it. His contingency sponsors are Piston Cup, Octane Gain, RPM, Revolting, and Clutch Aid. So there are his four, five sponsors or four. And over here you can see the night, uh, the lightning bolt design, which is amazing. I like the night lightning bolt design. And on the fender you can see his lightning bolt, which uh, like. In cars, one movie like kachow, kachow like that, and then like the bold design, which looks amazing. 95 and yeah, the 95 is also same as the Rusty's logo over here, which has yellow, orange, and then red, and over here is also the same. The exhaust pipes right there, back, back tires roll nice on the floor. On the roof, you can see as the 95 number, which is the same as that with the design, like I told at the front. He has the roof flaps, like obviously all the racers have them. He went with the NASCAR racer as this one also has the roof flaps. And over here you can see his Lightning McQueen signature. Oh, that's chipped over here. You can see it probably Lightning McQueen. He has the window bars like a bunch of other stock cars like Bruce Miller, Parker Brakeston, Ernie Gerson. Oh, just a minute, guys. Um, Murray Clutchburn. Yeah, I told her he's getting a real in 2021 KSD, which has only been found over here in Australia. So that's kind of good. Cool. Oh, sorry. Yeah, he has the roof flaps. I mean, the window bars, my bad. And over here at the spoiler, you can read Rusty's, which is the same design. At the side is also the same with the, you can see the gas cap right there. I like this car a lot lately. He's amazing. At the back you can see the two uh, tail lights, the Rusty's logo and I don't know what, what you call this as. I don't know. I don't even understand what is this. And there is the base where you can see Disney Pixar cars made in China. The engine equipment or the parts. You can see metal 1186MJ, comma 1, comma and L, which is same with the Hot Wheels cars as well. Oh, wrong side. The same as these ones. I don't know why. They just copied the same one as well. I don't even understand why though. And yeah, that is for the car. That is for the review of this car. He looks super amazing. I like it. And now on with the comparison. So I got the cars over here. So here is, um, what do you call, the racer, mm, the NASCAR racer from Hot Wheels. Just a minute, there we go. And let's compare it side by side. Wait, uh, he looks the same, not that bad either. He is also red, he is also red. Just the problem is that he is 6, which is a trench, but he, not the problem is that, but 
he literally looks like a bit of like red and rest of them is also like red but most of the sides are completely like other colors mixed colors and then the, nothing is more not that much red on him i can say like yeah so let's compare him i don't know why they put like less red on him instead of putting more red on these red races and here is Mac. Oh, oops, I need to lift that camera up. He's too big to fit in my camera. I don't know what I'm going to do to this review. This is. Didn't figure out that before, huh? This is made by Machal. That is a place that when you get a hauler in that and you have like all the stuff. That's that one I just. Wanted to review him. I'm gonna be reviewing soon on my channel. You can check that out. Now on to these stock cars. Yeah, the stock cars. I like them a lot. They have a very good design on them, which they look the best. Um, like you can tell. I'm not sure you can tell that they look the best and whatnot. And one thing I noticed on the stalkers, they have some, um, what is it? Just a minute. They have, oh, what happened? They don't, they have this, uh, what do you say, the vents, eh, vent, I think so. Wait, I forgot. I think that they have the vents on the side of them, which I don't like that a lot on these stalkers. Oh, what happened? It's not focusing. Oh, yeah, there we go. Sorry if I'm doing it once again, I forgot where I was because I was telling something else. This one is too heavy. Yeah, he is a very good release, Lionel McQueen. He won't even peg bomb that thing because he started peg bombing in 2020 and 2021 diecast line as well. Which I don't like that bad, but he shouldn't peg bomb that much more than like any like um I don't know why, but we have to see about that. And yeah, so that will be for the comparison video. And thank you so much for watching my review on uh, Valley McQueen. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. And I'll see you for another video, upcoming videos on the channel, which is the latest video is going to be on 38th and today's 19th. One day, 28th will be the uploading video of this. I'm not sure if I get rid of my cricket coach. So that is going to be for the video. So thank you guys once again. If you enjoy, leave a like and comment down below. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking there. Watch another video by clicking there. That's all for today and I'll see you for another video. And I'll see you guys. So bye now.